NASA has just unveiled a breathtaking, brand new collection of images from the most powerful telescope, showing Pluto's never-before-seen details. In addition to recent data from the New Horizons flyby, these images peeled back the layers of mystery surrounding the icy world at the solar system's outer edge. Once again, the James Webb Space Telescope has redefined what humanity can see. This time, it has delivered the clearest, most astonishing portrait of Pluto ever captured. For decades, Pluto remained nothing more than a hazy mark in textbooks and telescopes distant, cold, and enigmatic. Its secrets seemed forever out of reach. But now, thanks to Webb's immense golden mirrors and instruments tuned to perfection, Pluto emerges with incredible clarity. Its surface, once hazy and unclear, now reveals textures, patterns, and contrasts that transform it from an icy enigma into a dynamic world filled with dramatic geology and atmospheric complexity. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more updates on space discoveries. What makes this moment so special isn't just that Pluto has been imaged again, it's how clearly and vividly Webb has brought it to the forefront. The icy plains, the rugged mountains, the shadows hinting at ancient impact craters, and the flows of frozen nitrogen, every feature stands out with an accuracy that feels close to three dimensions. When New Horizons once gave us a brief snapshot, Webb now offers a steady gaze combining infrared and optical vision to reveal both surface details and subtle atmospheric processes shaping Pluto today. Scientists can now use Webb's instruments to study Pluto's composition in ways never possible before. Different ices reflect light in distinct patterns methane here, nitrogen there, and faint traces of exotic compounds known as tholines. These tholines, created when cosmic radiation strikes methane and nitrogen, give Pluto its reddish color. But they're more than just stains on the ice, they represent the chemistry of prebiotics, the same kind of processes that may once have helped spark life on Earth. To scientists, tholines are a chemical indication of possibility. Pluto's surface is coated with them. We have always been fascinated by Pluto's story. Once celebrated as the ninth planet, later demoted to dwarf planet, it has held a near mythical status in the public imagination. In 2015, New Horizons amazed the world with the discovery of the well-known heart-shaped Tombo Regio and hints of geological activity. But that encounter was brief a single flyby after nearly a decade-long journey. Webb now fills in the gaps, offering a long-term watch from afar. Astronomers can track seasonal alterations and chemical shifts over time. One of the most extraordinary revelations is Pluto's atmosphere. Earlier studies suggested it was thin and unstable, mostly nitrogen and methane that sometimes freezes onto the surface before re-evaporating into gas. Now, scientists can watch how this atmosphere shifts with the seasons. Since Pluto's orbit is so eccentric, its climate swings dramatically over centuries. Imagine an entire hemisphere plunged into winter darkness for decades while the other receives only weak but continuous sunlight. With Webb, astronomers can actually watch these cycles unfold, revealing how gases migrate across the globe and create faint shifting hazes in the skies. Webb's potential is even more exciting. It may help confirm what lies below the surface evidence of a hidden ocean. Data suggests Pluto's interior may still retain enough heat to keep water liquid locked beneath its icy shell. If this is true, Pluto joins the ranks of ocean worlds like Europa, Enceladus, and Titan places that could, in theory, harbor conditions suitable for life. This possibility transforms Pluto from a cold, forgotten outcast into a vital piece of the habitability puzzle. If liquid water exists beneath miles of ice, and if energy sources like chemical gradients are present, then Pluto may not be entirely lifeless. Our understanding of Charon, Pluto's largest moon, is also enhanced by web imagery. Together, Pluto and Charon form a unique binary system orbiting a shared center of gravity that lies outside Pluto itself. Charon's scarred surface carved with chasms deeper than the Grand Canyon contrasts with Pluto's more varied landscapes, hinting at evolutionary paths shaped by billions of years of gravitational interplay. Smaller moons Styx, Nix, Kerberos, and Hydra add to the complexity, wobbling in chaotic orbits that researchers are only beginning to fully understand. 
These moons may contain information about Pluto's violent past, possibly born from a massive collision billions of years ago. However, beyond science, there is an emotional impact to all of this. Pluto has served as a symbol of the outer frontier of our solar system the lone stray at the cliff's edge. Seeing it now in such vivid detail reignites that sense of wonder. Categories like planet or dwarf planet fade in importance when confronted with the utter complexity that the universe has revealed. Whatever we choose to call it, Pluto has proven itself a world worth exploring, rich in stories carved into ice and stone. The cultural ripples are enormous. This image will inspire classrooms, artists, and dreamers for decades. Children today won't just imagine Pluto as a dot. They'll see its mountains, its plains, and its hues. They will inquire in ways we hadn't anticipated yet, and the fuel for that curiosity is the promise of future exploration. Technically, achieving this image was no easy task. Pluto sits nearly 6 billion kilometers away. Its tiny rays of light, weakly reflected back into space, are easily lost in cosmic noise. Webb's divided mirror, which extends over 6 meters and is cooled to cryogenic temperatures, was designed for exactly this kind of challenge. The fact that it captured Pluto with such clarity is not just a triumph of astronomy, it is a triumph of human collaboration and engineering. And this is just the beginning. With Webb's methods, astronomers can now apply similar techniques to study other Cooper Belt objects' worlds like Aris, Makemake, and Haumea. Each holds fragments of the solar system's earliest days, preserved in still silence. The Cooper Belt is a vast icy graveyard of planetary leftovers, and yet within it lie answers to how our solar system formed. Pluto is no longer an isolated curiosity. It is the first in a series of distant mysteries ready to be revealed. Looking back at Pluto's history and human thought makes this all the more meaningful. Discovered in 1930 by Clyde Tombaugh, Pluto immediately caught the attention of the public as the ninth planet. It ruled at the very edge of the schoolroom charts a lonely world beyond Neptune. Then, in 2006, the International Astronomical Union controversially transformed it into a dwarf planet, sparking debate and heartbreak around the globe. But Webb's images prove something powerful. Labels aside, Pluto is extraordinary. It is a planet, a dwarf planet, or both a world with weather, geology, atmosphere, and perhaps even an ocean. So, what does this mean for the future? Webb is unable to fly to Pluto, it can only watch from afar. However, these images serve as a guide for subsequent missions. If a new spacecraft ever makes a comeback to Pluto, it will go with a sharper sense of where to look, guided by the secrets Webb has already uncovered. Possibly, future missions will transport orbiters, landers, or even cryobots designed to drill into its icy crust in search of liquid water below. For now, Webb has set the stage, and the next chapter of exploration is waiting. At the heart of it all, Webb's portrait of Pluto is more than just about science, it comes down to perspective. A century ago, Pluto was unknown. Then it became a speck in Clyde Tombow's telescope, New Horizons gave us our first close-up in 2015. And now, Webb has transformed that speck into a living, evolving world. Each step builds on the last, reminding us that discovery is not a single leap, it's a journey, a chain of revelations stretching across generations. Pluto, once the frontier, now stands as a bridge or reminder that the solar system is not finished teaching us. And with Webb's golden eye turn toward it, we've taken one step closer to understanding not only Pluto, but also our position in the universe itself. What do you think then? Should Pluto remain a dwarf planet, or has Webb shown us that it ought to reclaim its planetary crown? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more discoveries in the universe.